Pressure casting silicone is a final optional step in our pouring process that we use as insurance against any surprise air bubbles that we may not have expected. Let's review the basics of how to pressure cast silicone. After we have poured our silicone into our mold box, we will transfer the entire mold box into our pressure pot. It's best to test that our mold box will fit inside of our pressure pot before we pour our silicone. Testing the fit while the mold is empty is much easier. If getting our mold into the pressure pot is difficult when it's completely full, we can stop our pour just before the top and then finish filling our mold when our mold box is already inside the pressure pot. After everything is inside, we will tightly fasten the lid to our pressure pot. Make sure to follow the instructions from your manufacturer to ensure that the lid is properly seated and tightened. Failure to follow your manufacturer's instructions could result in a failure of the pressure pot and serious damage or physical harm. After our lid is securely fastened, we will attach our compressed air to our pressure pot and open the air inlet valve. Watching our pressure gauge will fill our pressure pot to anywhere between 35 to 45 pounds per square inch, or PSI. Please note that it is extremely important that we do not exceed the pressure rating of the pressure pot. Carefully read and locate the pressure rating of the pot you are using and only operate that pressure pot within their recommended guidelines. Failure to do so may result in serious injury or damage. Once we have reached our desired PSI, we can close our air inlet valve, remove our compressed air hose, and leave our mold inside the pressure pot until the allotted silicone cure time has passed. After the cure time has elapsed, we can slowly open the air inlet or release valve and let the air out of our pressure pot. Once the pressure has returned to normal and all of the air has been removed, we can unfasten our lid and remove our mold. Pressure casting silicone can be a good way to ensure we eliminate as much air as possible when some other factors may be outside of our control.